Happy Wednesday, PCMS. This is Dave Maxim, and I'm checking in with you again. Uh, we had our BLT more, or meeting this morning, so I always like to give you guys a video recap of what we talked about. That way you can be informed on the updates and any reminders that took place. Um, we did update uh, teachers and staff that teachers, homeroom teachers have to make phone calls and wellness checks to all of their classes for each week moving forward. So that means we'll have to make, uh, who's ever in your homeroom, you gotta make sure that you're making phone call calls to the families and checking in with the kids and seeing how they're doing. Um, on your distance learning contact sheets, uh, we have grade level ones. I'm gonna share those with you uh, as well so everybody's familiar with them again. But you wanna make note that there's columns in that Excel sheet now to make sure you write notes on how your phone conversations went with the families and the students. So again, uh, that's for all homeroom teachers. And if you do not have a homeroom, we're expecting that you call 30 students that have been at risk, not engaged in, in your classwork. And there's a tab as well for non-homeroom teachers as well uh, to be able to write down their contacts with students and families that they've tried to reach out with and any notes that you get from that. So let me recap that to make sure everybody understands that. I'll be resharing the grade level contact sheets with the whole building. That way everybody's familiar with where they're at. You want to make sure each homeroom teacher is going to contact their homeroom students via making phone calls. Uh, you're going to call your homeroom students uh, this week, next week, and then the final week of school as well, just doing a wellness check, seeing how they're doing. If you do not have a homeroom, you pick 30 students that are at risk or not engaged, and you make those phone calls as well, and you record that per grade level uh, on the non-homeroom sheet as well, depending on uh, which grade level of students you want to call. If you have Spanish-speaking families, all you would have to do is say, Necesito Heblo. Con Dave Maxim or whoever the student's name is if they speak Spanish when they answer because more than likely if they're in your class they understand some English so again we want to make sure we're reaching out to them doing wellness checks this week next week and the final week of school as well uh, just some reminders next week is going to be staff clean out for the summer so next week we're opening up the building from 8 to 3 uh, staff can come in make sure you're wearing a mask and gloves and you can come in and get your room ready for the summer summer by cleaning up putting any electrical cords away and just kind of getting the room ready for the summer deep clean where they clean the floors and whatnot uh, miss benjamin will be at door seven as everybody comes through door seven she'll have any masks or uh, gloves if you need those as well we want to practice safe social distancing miss benjamin will also have um effective school surveys. We want to get 100% completion of our staff completing those. So as you come in, you can uh, check in with her and get that. We also have amended check summer checkout sheets that you can finish up and turn those in with your keys as well. We want to make sure we get effective school surveys, amended uh, checkout sheets, uh, and keys turned in when you come in during that week next week. Paraprofessionals and security will be coming in on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday of next week from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. They're gonna come in, bag up all the students' belongings. Uh, we're gonna have labels with their names on them, with the students' names on them for homeroom, and we're gonna bag those things up for students as well. Uh, Ms. Wilder, uh, Ms. Meyer, and Ms. Kanan came in and helped unlock the locks that we had off the list for students. So if they get provided us with a locker number, we were able to unlock it and we'll put those in the bag as well. So those are important things to consider. The next week, the last week of school, hard to believe, we have locker clean out, which is going to be Tuesday, May 26th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Wednesday, uh, May 27th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Thursday, uh, 528 is 430 p.m. to 630 p.m. And then Friday is 529 to 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I've shared that with you guys. The graphic, it's on social media and the website as well if students and families ask. The key part we want to remind students and families is when they pull in, they're not getting out of their car. They're going to write their student's name in big letters, their homeroom net teacher's name, and they're going to pull in the parking lot, put that in the window so then we can radio it to get their bag. Students can turn in any uh, textbooks, any library books, and school-owned musical uh, instruments as well that day. They're not to get out of their car. We also have a little 
Kona Ice. That'll be set up as a drive through in another parking lot. So that way that'll be uh, fun for the kids and a fundraiser for the school as well. Finally, um, Mr. Burton mentioned in the board meeting that next year there's a lot of discussion about what that could look like. I know there have been even some blended models where students come two days out of the week and we rotate students, but as a district, if that's the way that the state's going to go, uh, Mr. Burton mentioned that grades 6 through 12 will be completely virtual, which means we will start the year online, even if K to 5 is working on that blended model where they come in different days. So as we know, we still have a lot of preparation for that to get ready for that. So in response to that, your TBTs, your PLCs, you guys are going to be meeting, talking about online resources that we have and things that we can do to get better. We beefed up our BLT meetings. We're going to have three next week and then three the following week so us as a BL team can get together and make sure we're prepared. We know that, you know, this year we did the best that we could in a really short time, so we really want to be thinking about that. Now, you can ask me, could that change where we're not virtual next year? It could change. We don't know, but we definitely want to be prepared. Everything's changes really on a day-to-day, week-by-week basis with this uh, pandemic, so we just want to be as prepared as we can. There's going to be some professional development opportunities in the summer for uh, remote learning and improving engagement as well. Uh, finally, just remember, uh, we're all going with uh, pass grades for students, so when you go in uh, progress book, you want to make sure you don't hit the equal sign and that you're taking time to make sure you click on P for each student only writing positive comments and if you want to write you know student submitted a level work or whatever you want to do just leave them as positive comments as well uh, as we're going to eliminate any negative ones that we see so um, I really enjoy being able to catch you guys up obviously you know I would prefer this to be in person as well as I prefer to be an in-person start we are making some adjustments as, as well to prepare our sixth graders and just thinking about things we can do differently we've had zoom meetings with fifth graders talking about uh, the middle school things that they can do we're going to work on a virtual tour so that we can expose our sixth graders before they come as well so there's a lot of things we're going to have to do differently with the virtual start in August but I firmly believe once again we'll get through it together as a team we'll make the best of it we always do and I'm so proud of you guys happy to work with you and as always you know that you can text me call me, email me, and I try to be as responsive as I can to your needs. Typically, texting is the most efficient way. So have a great night. Continue being awesome. Go Vikes!